What's up? I wanted to give another sign of the time, which is supposedly a rare phenomenon, which is the volcano um, Etna, Mount Etna, uh, giving off circles of smoke. And so um, I think this is a sign of the time just because I don't think I've ever seen that before. They say it's rare. I don't know. Sometimes you can't really always trust what is coming across the news. But, you know, if it is rare, I've never seen a volcano, you know, uh, erupt other than on video. And that's probably obviously, you know, for most people. Uh, But that has to be a sign of the times, you know, that a volcano uh, giving perfectly uh you know circled uh uh vapor of smoke and then um one thing i also think it it just tells us is that you know there is a god you know one thing that i think it's hard to deny sometimes is that you know the existence of god you know um now we can probably understand a volcano spewing you know, uh, ash where, you know, it's, it's a plume of smoke that doesn't really have, uh, you know, any design to it other than obviously it has some design, I think, you know, but I'm just saying a familiar shape or something. And when a volcano spews out these circles, that we don't really see much much of in other volcanoes i think that it definitely you know proves the existence of god for those that want to you know have that revelation um i think you know it you can also deny god sometimes just because of unrighteousness or you know what is in someone's heart but you know um I think definitely these are some signs of the times. And I think definitely, you know, we can just log this into more of a, you know, uh, uh, proof that Jesus is returning soon. Now, obviously, uh, a volcano uh, spewing out circles, you know, doesn't necessarily speak to you know someone who never heard jesus they would say oh you know i know jesus is coming but you know uh i think definitely things that are bizarre or rare i think definitely speak to us you know even in maybe lawlessness you know uh having different signs that you know you see some sort of crime or something that's sort of bizarre I think can speak to, you know, sign of the time. I think um, earthquakes that are sort of rare can be put in the category of a sign of the times. And so um, no one knows the day or the hour, you know, but I think definitely signs help us to really keep up with being ready, you know, instead of, uh, I don't know, seeing nothing in in these little signs and saying, oh, you know, those are just nothing. I think that is not the right route to take, you know, and I think attributing everything, you know, to be a sign is sort of crazy, too. But I think we can definitely see that there is a lot to look at as far as signs. I know there was, um, you know, as far as wars going on you know we see russia and ukraine we see the whole covid pandemic we see you know um israel and hamas um and just growing tension between those uh that hate israel and those that support israel um i think we see just more and more amping up of different uh you know chaos happening in the world now i think one of the things that the mount etnus you know sign shows is that sometimes the signs don't necessarily 
point to impending doom, I think some of the signs just show, wow, something is going on. For example, you know, um, if you see the circles in from Mount Etna, I think it looks more beautiful or pretty and it may not necessarily speak to, you know, impending danger. You know, we as Christians know what it points to, but you know, out in nature, sometimes you can see something and I've seen this in movies too, where you sort of see something and you're like, Oh wow, that looks so nice. And then it ends up eating something or, you know, it ends up, you know, not being what you thought it was. And, um, I know the Venus flytrap is not always like that, though. You know, I think the Venus flytrap definitely looks like it's something that you should stay away from. But obviously, flies don't always know that. And they, they're like, oh, you know, this is an attractive plant. You know, let me go to, you know, try to uh, suck some nectar out of it or whatever they get from it. Or maybe the flies are just a little bit daring and they're like, hey, maybe I can do it without, you know, getting eaten by this plant. But anyway, we know uh, we've heard of things that, you know, uh, sort of are dangerous and they don't look dangerous. Um, And so that I think describes just this earth, too. I think, you know, everything in the earth, I think, looks so beautiful And so we're like, oh, you know, this must be paradise. You know, I can do whatever I want and, you know, I can kind of settle down and just, you know, uh, not really notice God or, you know, not really notice different things. And then we find out from reading the Bible that, you know, there are actually some warnings, you know, that we should take heed to that can actually, uh, you know, determine your eternal destiny. And so... Um, I'm sure when Jesus was walking the earth, he didn't look so intimidating at all, you know, but we learn later in scripture that Jesus kills a whole army just by speaking a word. And later in Revelation, I think it's Revelation chapter 20 or 19. And so sometimes things aren't always as they appear. And so I think that's how some of the signs of the times look to us sometimes is that people of the world look at the signs and they're like oh you know that's that's a cool phenomenon and you know it's just oh it's just something rare or you know it's not really a big deal but you know i think that is the mistake that we can make in looking at some of the signs of the times is sort of thinking you know hey this is not really a sign and it is Now, I think most of us as Christians should be pretty prepared, you know. Um, I know there's more things that I can work on, too. Or it's just I've made a video on sort of just maintaining what we're already doing. That's kind of what perseverance is, is just continuing on with what we're doing, you know. And so um, I think we should be, you know, getting close to being ready, you know. But, you know, that's just... Uh, you know, sort of an observation. I know that uh, there's many people in the world who aren't ready, you know, and especially if you go to certain places, you know, many people aren't ready f- to stand before God and give an account of their life. Um, and I know we've heard of different scandals in the church. And I think that shows that, you know, hey, sometimes even church people are not fully awake to some of the signs of the times. I think uh, it can be harmful. You know, I, I, I like an encouraging message from an encouraging pastor. You know, I'll listen to Joel Olstein sometimes. But I know it can be harmful if, let's say you have a church member who goes to Joel Olstein's church and they're only hearing maybe an encouraging message and they're only hearing stuff about, you know, uh, things that don't pertain to end times or being ready. I think that can be harmful if we in the church are not speaking towards the signs of the times. I know in my church, sometimes the pastor may put off the return of the Lord. And I think he's a good pastor, you know, don't get me wrong. 
I think just sometimes, you know, we as uh, members of the church can sort of say, oh, you know, these signs of the times are just sort of normal. And I think we have evidence in scripture sometimes of some of the signs appearing to be normal and people just wanting to see more. I mean, uh, that's recorded in the Gospels. You know, uh, we have people asking Jesus to show us a sign, you know, and I think it would be helpful to actually look up that verse real quick. And, you know, uh, we all know that Jesus was doing many miracles. And so to us, it's kind of crazy sometimes when people are asking for Jesus to show a sign when he's already doing so much. Okay, so Matthew twelve thirty eight. it says, One day some teachers of religious law and Pharisees came to Jesus and said, Teacher, we want you to show us a miraculous sign to prove your authority. That's the New Living Translation. Mark thirteen four says, Tell us, when will all this happen? What sign will you show us that these things were about to be fulfilled? Luke twenty one seven. Uh, well, that one's not really one, but uh, it kind of is one. But um, John 2, verse 18 says, So the Jews answered and said to him, What sign do you show us, show to us, since you do these things? John 6, verse 30 says, They answered, Show us a miraculous sign. If you want us to believe in you, what can you do? So, you know, um, the Bible records that no one has ever healed a blind man. And so Jesus already was doing many things that uh, showed that he was a Messiah. Even people said it's recorded in the Gospels of them saying When the Messiah comes, will he do more signs than this man? And let's look at that verse. More signs. So John 7, John chapter 7, verse 31, it says, Yet many of the people believed in him. They said, when the Christ appears, will he do more signs than this man has done? So clearly some people recognized the signs and other people did not recognize that Jesus was doing a sign and they asked him to show more signs. Jesus did say that, you know, in one place he said, you know, I'm not going to show you a sign but the sign of Jonah when and he was saying as Jonah was three days and three nights in the belly of the whale. So so the son of man will be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. And basically he was saying that he's going to rise from the dead and that will be another sign. But I think one of the things that they had to do was be close to Jesus to be able to see the signs. And so not that we all can, you know, be super Christians or something. But I think definitely starting to look, you know, and be open to uh, God using something to speak to us. Now, for me, the solar eclipse wasn't really that hit of a home for a sign, but um, it could be happening. I mean, it could be because um, I didn't see it in my area. I live in Washington state, but for others, it was. But for me, maybe seeing, uh, I know I've posted different things that have spoken to me that, wow, I see the sign of the times. And so um, I think definitely someone's in hot water if they see nothing as a sign. But I think something should be speaking to people. And I think that's why God may have many signs in different areas in different uh, ways is because certain things may speak to someone uh, greater than another, greater than another person. And so um, check out that Mount Etna, uh, you know, news 
article or uh, I didn't leave a link to the article, but uh, I'm sure if you do a Google search, you can see the Mount Etna rings. Um, and so I think that um, we still don't know the day or the hour. And I think we'll see more signs as the days go on, you know, but maybe we should start asking, you know, uh, if the end times are here, here, will there be more signs than this? And we don't want to get into that place where we're seeing signs and yet asking Jesus to do something more. Or maybe we're looking for something specific like the whole world exploding and we are in a space shuttle and we're like, Oh, you know, that was a sign now, you know, so, um, maybe we're looking for something in our mind, but yet don't have a particular thing that we are sort of wanting. We're just sort of asking to see more, but not yet having anything specific that we want to look for. And I'm sure as I end this podcast that, you know, even if Jesus did something specific that people wanted, I'm not sure if people would always believe, you know, even if they saw something that was, you know, specifically for them. And so anyway, thanks so much for checking this out. And I will talk to you on the next one. See ya.